Hi guys, in this video we're going to work a little bit with the data frame that we created in a previous video, namely data frame 2 we called it. Here it is right here. And if you recall we created this data frame using vectors or variables that we created in a yet previous video. Okay, Character, uh, factor, numeric, logical, factor. Okay, So we have a good variety here. Now what I want to do in this video is I want to teach you a little bit about subsetting a data set. So we have a tiny data set here or data frame here. So it's easy to see things and learn the fundamentals here before you try to apply this. And by the way, it's much more useful to apply this, these techniques to large data sets. The small ones are purely for learning purposes. Okay, so I want to subset this. That's the way you should think about it. I want to subset this data set, and let's make up. Make, let's make some motivation here. Perhaps I only want to look at students that are female. Okay, so I have a gender column here, variable. So let me, I, let me just eliminate the males here. I only want to look at the females. So I should only end up with Alice and Maria's information. Okay. So let's let's try this. So I can use a function called subset. Okay, within subset, first we're going to type the name of the data set that we're looking at, or the data frame. So df2 is the data frame, comma. The second argument is going to be what you want to subset on. So we want to, we want gender to be female, right? because that's what we arbitrarily chose. Now, do this, if you recall in the very first video on vectors, I told you to use this for assignment as opposed to this. So maybe versus this. Both will do the same thing, but here is where you're going to see why this is not a, a good practice and this is. Okay, here we want gender to be female, correct? But we don't want to assign anything here. We don't want to create any kind of assignment. So if I just hit equals female, this will confuse R. And R will think that you're trying to call something gender. You're trying to assign the name of gender to the, le the, to the letter F. Okay, this is confusing. So we use double equal signs here and then we put female okay so and we may need to put this in quotes okay here and then hit enter close parentheses hit enter obviously and so you see that we only are looking at the two females in our data frame too so that's Alice and Maria we get all their information okay so let me just do this slowly one more time here data frame 2 we're going to subset, this time let's look at males only. We're going to subset data frame 2 and we want gender to be equal to male. And we should put male in quotes. Anytime we have characters, except true and false and some very special other characters, uh, we, we need to put them in quotations. Okay. So male, we only want to look at male. Notice the double equal sign here. Not just equals, but double equal. Okay. So this is not assignment. This is saying is equal to gender when gender is equal to male. So now we look at only the two males in our data frame. Alex and John. Okay, we could subset in different ways. Let's subset the data frame to to look at when favorite color is red. Uh, capitals matter here, so um, make sure you put in exactly how red is written. So we're only looking at people students here who have red as their favorite color. And let's do one more. Let's subset data frame 2 to include only people who pass the course. Now here's an interesting case. If you recall, pass was a logical vector, not a character, 
not a factor. And I just explained earlier that logical uh, vectors values don't need to be placed in quotes. So let's we will just type true. So this is going to be we're only looking at people who passed the perhaps this is the previous course whatever pass means pass the course okay so you see I didn't have to put it in quotes and I'm looking at the three people out of the four that passed so so this is called subsetting data and depending on what you want to look at you'll subset on different um, variables all right so the subset command was the focus of this um, tutorial. So I hope this was helpful. This goes hand in hand with working with data frames. All right, till next time, have a great day.